Here's a view out our window Wednesday morning, 10 o'clock, and there is some sort of a festival going on down here. Sounds delightful. Yeah, right. Since 2007, a pair of sentries in full dress uniform have been stationed at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. from April 9th to November 10th, as well as during significant military anniversaries throughout the rest of the year. Each morning, the first sentries are marched out with the duty piper and upon taking their posts are read their orders. Sentries hold their posts for one hour before being replaced. changing of the guard, we headed to the Byward Market area. We found these steps at the west end of York Street, and for years they've served as an urban canvas for various artists, and the art has changed periodically. We've seen these before, They're so you can get your bikes up and down easily. Isn't that nice? Headed down to the Byward Market. This is the Byward Market area. There's our hotel. Byward Cafe. Oh, she's singing. This is a Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory and I have never seen pralines that big. And here they've got cake and they've put a stick on it so you can eat it like a lollipop. What a good idea. Inside this building as I expected there's lots of shops. But from the other end it looks like there was just a bakery. But from here I spotted the entrance. Here in the middle of the market. I don't know what we have up there different shop but I have never seen a croissant anywhere near that size. They're huge. As are the cookies. In the bakery of course we have beautiful French macaroons. They are tiny. Look at all the beautiful pastries in here. Time and we headed to Dunn's Famous Deli and Steakhouse. It's a Montreal style smoked meat, pastrami, and cheesecake restaurant chain founded in 1927 in Montreal.
I've been looking forward to poutine, a famous Canadian dish made with French fries and cheese curds topped with brown gravy. It originated in Quebec in the late 1950s. Here at Dunn's, they add a whole lot of smoked meat on top. Yum! Okay, in 1988, the Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to the United Nations Peacekeepers. This monument reconciliation is a tribute to Canada's commitment to world peace and to all Canadian men and women who have served as peacekeepers. Members of Canada's armed forces are represented by three figures who stand at the meeting place of two walls of destruction. Vigilant, impartial, they oversee the reconciliation of those in conflict. Behind them lies the debris of war. Ahead lies the promise of peace, a world symbol of life, dedicated in 1992. There's the Franco-Ottawa Festival, big music festival. There's one of those nifty great big balloons that people roll around in. Instead of going to the music festival, we're going to come over here and visit the Notre Dame. These are the doors up close. <laughs> 